Hello friends, this is Rupesh and I'm watching CBB Nerd video series on three data structure series and this is the first video of this series and we will be covering almost all of these three in this series. So subscribe to this channel and you will get the notification for everything. Okay, so as this is an introduction video, I will explain what is the meaning of tree, why we will use that, I mean, what is the actual reason you will go for a tree and how it looks like, what are the different terminologies like, what is root, what is sibling, what is height of a node and all that, okay? So watch this video till the end and you will be knowing the basic of the tree, which you will never forget. So start this video. So the first point is, I mean, yeah, first uh, I will show you a tree look uh, how does it look like so this is how a tree would look like so let's go back and see the notes first point says that tree is a hierarchical data structure which stores the information in the form of a hierarchy so can you see this a uh, hierarchy form here so this is the first point about the tree second point is tree is a non-linear data structure so if you don't know what is non i mean what is linear data structure array link list stack queue they all are considered a linear data structure what i mean is uh, i'll give you here only linear means array is like one after another linked list is also one after another stack is also like one top of another one and the queue is also like one after another one correct so can you see this is the linearity in these data structures correct but our tree is a non-linear data structure because if you see this there is no proper way i mean this is the start and there are multiple ways you can actually go but in our linear data structure you can only traverse linearly so second point is tree represents the node connected by edges so what is edge i will i'll actually complete all these terminologies but let's say if i will say edge means this wire or connection between this node and this node or I mean one node connected to another node with the help of edge. So this is nothing but edge. So last point is tree is one of the most powerful advanced data structure. Yes, I totally agree to that because I have seen so many trees. So I know tree actually helps you to solve so many problems. And the biggest problem it solves is like if you are searching something and you know that okay if you are standing here if you are so sure that I am definitely going to get that if I will go left I mean if I will go to this path then can you see you are eliminating this much full comparison. This is the biggest advantage we get when we use tree because we eliminate all the time half of the comparison considering if it is binary search tree okay so currently i am talking about the binary search tree so not only this there are so many advantages and you will be thrilled if you will see all those examples and you will be like oh my god tree is a super cool data structure man so with this i would like to cover these terminologies so whenever i will use these terminologies in my upcoming videos where i will explain all these topics you won't have confusion so root means this guy this is the root let me write it so this is your root here and then parent node now parent is a subjective like for this guy this is the parent and this is also a parent but this becomes a grandparent but we don't have any terminologies like grandparent because you will have so much big hierarchy then you cannot say grandparent one two three and all that no parent means parent so if you're looking for the parent of this guy it means direct relationship to this guy means the parent of this one is this one that's it now child node so this is the opposite now this is the child for this guy now if i'm telling if this is one and this is two if i'll say okay which one is the parent for two we'll say one and which one is the children for one we'll say three and two so these two nodes are the children nodes for one and similarly if it is zero here we'll say okay what is the children for zero it will be this guy and this guy cool so siblings siblings are very much clear like these two are the siblings these fours are the siblings so, so siblings means you know that right sibling means at one level good okay 
Now path, what is path? Path is very straightforward. Like if you are looking for the path to five, meaning you want a full path from root, which is this guy till the five means this one, this one and this one. So this is what is path. And similarly, if you're looking for this guy, meaning you are saying that, okay, from here to here, here to here, and then here to here. So this is going to be the path, correct? So now let's talk about the height of a node. One thing I forgot here, the depth of a tree. So we'll be talking about the height of a node and height of a tree and depth of a node, but there is something called depth of tree. So we'll discuss this also, okay? So let's discuss height of a node. Or before that, I would like to discuss about the height of a tree. So if we, this is the tree, then the height of a tree is the longest path from bottom or the leaf nodes. So this is a leaf node. I mean, these are the leaf nodes. And let me uh, make another uh, node here. So now this is the leaf node. So if you will calculate the path from all the nodes other than this would be three. I mean, from here, to here, how many edges are there? One, two, and three. So the height of this tree would be three if you are calculating till here. But if we have added another node, then as I said, it is a path from the longest or the farthest node from root. So this is the farthest node from node uh, root. So this is like one, two, three, and four. So the height of this tree would become four now. Now remember one thing because people get confused that okay what is the height and what is the depth of tree. So it is very easy if you think that you will calculate height in upward direction and depth in downward direction. And let me tell you that if it is like what is the height of a tree if answer is four then the depth of a tree is also four. Actually they are equal. It's just that height is calculated from bottom to top and the depth is calculated from top to bottom. Now, wait a minute. This is not equal in terms of the node because as I said, height will be calculated in upward direction. So if you are looking for the height of someone like uh, maybe this guy, then the height would be calculated in upward direction. So one and two. So the height of this guy is two. And similarly, height of this node would be obviously three. But if you are asking what is the depth of this node, then this would be one. Forget about this one. It is not there. Otherwise it will be looking like something else. Forget about this arrow, forget about this arrow. And it's just from here to here. Okay. So the depth of this node would be one and then two. So the depth is two. Okay depth is 2 and height is 3 for this node. So always remember height is always calculated in upward and depth is calculated downwards. Then it will be very easy for you to remember all these things. So height of a tree is actually equal to the depth of a tree and depth of a node is calculated downwards. Sorry, depth of a node is calculated downwards. So if you are looking for this node's depth, it is 1 because you can only come one time and the depth of this node is zero. So now let's look at the degree of a node. So what is the degree of a node? Make a point that I'm talking about the degree of a node in tree because we are learning tree now. So the degree of a node, if I will say that, what is the degree of this guy? It means how many children it have. So there are two children. So the degree of this guy is two. What is the degree of this guy? There is no children. Then the degree of this guy is zero actually. So you understood, right? It's pretty simple. So if there are three children to this node, then the degree of this node is three. Okay. And last is edge. So as I said, edge is connecting two nodes. So this is edge. This is not this one. This is edge. This is edge. So edge is like one node connected to another node with the help of edge. So this wire is called edge. Okay. So we have seen so many terminologies for tree and I'm so excited that we will be covering these many tree data structures in this series. So let's see this advantages. Tree reflects structural relationship in the data. 
So sometime when you are forming some relationship like um, let's talk about the Facebook. So if uh, I consider myself as a node in a Facebook, then the relationship can be like how many friends I have. So all those different different nodes would be treated as my friends. So there can be n number of friends here. So if you actually see this, it is looking like I am a root and they all are my children's in this tree. So we can form this relationship with friendship relationship also. So can you see this? This structural representation helps too much to actually design your data structure. And this is a very important point. And the next point is it is used to represent hierarchies. Exactly. Another point is it provides an efficient insertion and searching operation. Do you remember when I started this video, I said that if I am searching and if this is a binary search tree. So if you remember your binary search, how it was working, let's suppose if this is binary array, then it is already sorted. So the prerequisite for binary sort is it should be sorted. Now, if you are looking for some node, then you will directly divide this whole array into two and then it will be divided again into two. So if it is like one, two, three, four, five and six and you are searching maybe two, then you will actually come to this direction by dividing this whole array into half. So can you see you are eliminating a half of the array in one comparison and that similar thing applies to your tree also. So if it is binary search tree and maybe if you're looking for some number, let's suppose this root is five and you're looking for three, then you already know that root is five and I'm looking for three, then three would be in left side. So you are eliminating this full subtree. So that's why the elimination becomes half. So it results so good in searching. And now let's talk about the insertion part. So insertion in tree is also very easy. Sometimes you have to do some little bit of shuffling, but not so much of shuffling because uh, I'll give you a simple example here. Uh, let's suppose there are millions of numbers are there in the array. So the size of this array is 1 million and you happen to insert something in between. Then everything after this has to shift right. Correct? That's how we insert something, right? We're not replacing, we're inserting in, in between. So this is insertion. And what if you are doing the same job in tree? Let me tell you that if you want to say that, okay, now I want to make some number left of this root or some place, then what will happen? You will just break this link and you will make another node and root will point to that node and this node will point to this node. That's it. If it is not binary search tree, if it is just simple tree, this is what you will do. You won't shift all these nodes. You won't even touch it. You will just break this link and you will form a new link. So can you see hardly two to three operations just to insert one node in between two nodes. But here it was a big mess. So for this reason also trees are really very good. Now let's Look at this trees are flexible. It allows to move sub tree around with minimum effort. Yes, this is really very important. Let's suppose you want to move this much portion of your tree from one place to another place. Then you don't have to touch this one, this one, this one or this one. You just have to move the root of this sub tree to somewhere else. What I mean is just break this link. Now this node is no longer pointing to this node. And then maybe you can say that this node is now pointing to this node. And that's it. You have actually moved this whole subtree under this root now. I mean this node now. You did not have to touch any of these nodes. And it is looking simple because we have only four nodes here, but it can be million down there and you don't have to touch that. So these operations become so easy and if your problem, what problem you're solving, if that suits tree, you cannot solve that without tree. I think you already have a feeling that tree is a very good data structure, right? I know, I know. So it's time to 
sum this video don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel if you are new so that you can get the notification for upcoming videos like this i will see you in the next videos bye bye take care